Hello everyone, you're watching New Egg TV. I'm Steve, and today in the studio we have a very special guest from BenQ. Everyone, I want you to meet Ron. Ron, how's it going? Hey, it's good. Hello everyone, glad to be here. Thanks awesome. for having us. Awesome, thank you for coming in because clearly you brought in two new gaming monitors, or I should say this one's newer than that one, uh, but this one you guys have probably already heard of. This is the BenQ XL2730Z, uh, also FreeSync enabled, which is very cool. And we have another uh, uh, console-related monitor here. What's the model number on this yeah, one? Yeah, this one's the RL2460HT. Oh, okay. And we have two series in our gaming products. One's the XL, they're for PCs, and RL's for consoles. Nice, and I've learned that this one actually has an HDMI out, which is supposed to help with input lag if you were to capture, use a capture device. Right, right yeah. Okay. With the emergence of streaming online and Twitch, everyone wants to showcase their gameplay to the world, so we've made it uh, you know, an input lag free type of technology to help promote that. Fantastic, and a, and a great way of doing that. So I actually want to ask you one quick question, because I've heard this rumor. All right, are you a pro, or were you a pro gamer? Is this, is this, what's going on <laughs> Yes, here? yeah, back in the day I used to play Counter-Strike professionally. Oh. I played under the alias Rambo for a predominantly team called Team 3D. Okay. Um, so yeah, it was a good time in my life where we got to compete, so. Uh, I know a little thing, one or two things about gaming monitors and what they can do to enhance gameplay, so I'm looking forward to talk about it. I'm glad BrenQ brought you in, man. I want to know if you're okay with us starting with the FreeSync monitor first. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. All right, so we've got our XL2730Z here. This is our newest and greatest monitor here. Uh, we've worked with AMD to implement their FreeSync technology into the monitor nice. uh, to create a stutter-free, smooth experience, basically matching the GPU's refresh rate to the monitor so you get a stutter-free, smooth experience. That's a really good point too because FreeSync being one of the new uh, variable refresh rate technologies that are out right now is also much better than VSync, I should mention, because VSync is going to introduce some input lag, although it'll make the picture look a little bit, little bit better. Definitely going with, with uh, a variable refresh rate technology like, v, at, at, like FreeSync is a really good idea and something you guys should hit too. Uh, also, there are certain GPUs that AMD are recommending for this, and the compatibility list is actually at AMD dot com forward slash free sync if you guys want to know more information about that as they update the list as well. Mm -hmm. So please continue. Yeah, so uh, it's it's on top of free sync. Uh, we've got, I mean, it's just packed with features. Our philosophy at BenQ is gaming is in the details. Cool. So we want to add as many features as possible to give the gamer an advantage. Uh, on top of eye safety care features to help uh, uh, with with their eye eye fatigue maybe? Exactly, eye okay. strains, eye fatigue, headaches, sleep disorders that may be caused by monitors that don't have our technology. Okay. Uh, so it's, it's one millisecond response time. Obviously a gaming monitor, it's gotta be ultra fast. It has to be. Uh, it's got up to 144 refresh rate. Okay, 144 well. hertz. Nice. Yeah, and uh, it's also 2560 by 1440 resolution. So it's got uh, more than 70% viewable area compared to the traditional 1920 resolution. Also a must. I think moving up from, from 1920 by 1080, as I've recently done, is, is definitely an improvement I think everybody should take advantage it of. It is, yeah. You get more, more real estate, so you can multi-screen window. You know, it's, it's basically having two monitors in one. Uh, a little bit better, yeah. Yeah, so you yeah. can split screen, and then you can play games on it uh, at ultra fast speed. Uh, cool. So what are some of the other features that you that has been implemented by BenQ in this particular monitor? Like uh, I think you mentioned one of them um, uh, for eye strain. What are some of the other ones? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so BenQ, we've, we've developed a bunch of technologies actually. Uh, it's a revolutionize, and it's uh, a bunch of features packed into it. Uh, zero flicker is one, uh, is one of them, yeah. For the older monitors, they have um, a, basically a flickering effect to display the image. Okay. Uh, but BenQ, they've developed a zero flicker where it, uh, it doesn't flicker. It's a constantly lit image at any brightness. Gotcha. So it, it, there's less fatigue on your eye. Um, and some of the other monitors, they do it so fast where you can't really see it with the naked eye, but, it's but your there. eye registers it uh, innately. So okay. it's a zero flicker. Uh, it's also got low blue light technology uh, mm. where we've researched that the blue spectrum light, uh, it, that's what also causes uh, you to wear glasses, it deteriorates your eye vision, gives you headaches, uh, eye strain. So it, it filters up to 70% of the blue light uh, to help combat that. Nice. And uh, it's, it's one of those features you take granted for. I wish I had it back in my day, uh, or I wouldn't have to get LASIK. <laughs> oh no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or gunners, right? Like it, it kind of uh, it helps with that. Exactly, right? yeah. Okay. So it's, it's a built-in gunners feature where it filters out the blue light. Okay, fantastic. So maybe we should talk a little bit more about it. Obviously it's a 27 inch TN panel as you might have mentioned earlier. Um, one millisecond response time obviously was a must, uh, but connectors, right? So we need to worry about how is this going to be accepting input uh, from your video card. So obviously you need to use uh, DisplayPort 1.2a, right? Yes. Because otherwise you wouldn't be able to use v um, FreeSync in general. Yeah. Um, on top of that, you guys have added HDMI 2.0, which I was kind of surprised at. Yeah. Newer technology, awesome. 
um, uh, m makes some sense, but obviously if you're going to use FreeSync, you really should be using DisplayPort 1.2. Yes, yeah, to use right. the full compatibility and uh, capability of the monitor, you want to use DisplayPort. Excellent. Um, aside from that, uh, another HDMI input, obviously 1.4 on this one. Mm -hmm. um, D-Sub and I believe DPI Dual Link yes. supports as well? Yes, yeah, okay. so it supports some of the older input connections just in case you don't have it on your uh, setup. So we want to make sure we have all the inputs there available. And a couple other features that I really, I really like in a gaming monitor because going to a LAN and carrying all this stuff is actually a problem. Right. So first and foremost is this handle yeah. at the very top. Awesome. I know it's something very minor, mm -hmm. but I like it. And the fact that it's made, a, it's a metal chassis too for, for that particular it's, area, right? It's aluminum alloy. Aluminum alloy. Yeah. Okay. And then the other one that I like is the, uh, is the go ahead and show them. Yeah. yeah. This one it's also. It's a headphone holder, right? Yeah. Basically, I mean, it, for all intents and purposes, it's just a stick, but still, <laughs> like, I don't have to worry about leaving it on my table or, or putting it on something else that, that I might have purchased a prior to hold mm -hmm. it up. Um, I enjoy that. Just the little things, right? Yeah, it is. Um, yeah. On that side, too, I think you also have two USB 3 ports and some audio? Yes, we have two USB ports here, uh, 3.0, as okay. well as a headphone and a microphone jack. Okay. Uh, so if, if you have some of the shorter cables on your head headsets and uh, headphones, you can just plug in directly to the monitor. It would use the sound, I'm assuming, then running through uh, either DisplayPort or HDMI. At yes. That point. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Um, then there was one other thing, and I know. Oh, the fact that you have two USB three ports means there's probably a hub on this. Yes. Yeah, so it's okay. a hub, so you can plug in your peripherals directly into the monitor as well. So you don't have to run them directly all around. Just your get PCs the cable you guys provided for the upstream. Yeah, the, the USB the cables provided with that. Perfect. All right, is there anything else you wanted to add uh, for this monitor before we go to the next one? Uh, yeah. Well, there's some other features. Uh, again, it's just just packed with features. Uh, it's got display mode and smart scaling. So some of the old school school gamers like me where we were used to like 17 and 19 inch monitors mm -hmm. where we could see the peripherals much better instead of a wider screen. Yeah. Um, with display mode and smart scaling you can adjust the image size with your resolution uh, to anything you want. So you I see what you're saying because basically when you're playing an FPS and my peripheral vision is limited by either the, the size of my monitor and how close I am, you mm -hmm. can actually scale it down to a smaller section. Yes. Okay, that makes perfect sense yeah. actually, yeah. Because when you're gaming and, and uh, FPS gamers out there know what I'm talking about, but if you don't understand, let me just really quickly explain it. Having it fit within your visual range is always better because you don't want to have to turn your head in a situation exactly. where something comes out of nowhere, right? Mm -hmm. Um, myself, I'm still not pro enough to be able to just spin and shoot somebody if I, if I, even if I did see them, but the reality is still you need to be aware of it if you're going to play a game like that, especially on the competitive level. Yeah, yeah. so, so. it does make a difference. It's one of those features. Uh, we work hand in hand with professional gamers. Oh, that's Anytime right. we create products, um, originally, some of you guys may know uh, the Legends Heaton and Spawn. Our first series of BenQ monitors, we work with them nice. uh, to pr produce this. So we've implemented that same feature and we've kept it in just because everyone likes it so much. Fantastic. Yeah, okay. and uh, also it, there's a software that comes with BenQ, it's called Display Pilot, and it's a software where you can uh, add in and customize profiles. So you could customize your number one, two, and three. Uh, it's a remote control device where you can control your monitor. Uh, there's a scroll wheel here. You can go through the menus at ease. You don't have to reach over. And then the one, two, and three, you can set them for, for different profiles and settings. So say if you're playing FPS, racing game, or fighting game, you could just click through these numbers and, and, and set those. And have that pre-set up, basically, yeah. for each one of those games. Um, I know that we actually have more to talk about in terms of the uh, BenQ's relationship to other professional gamers when we get to the RL uh, monitor, yeah. right? Should we go to that now? Oh, uh, there was one more thing oh, to there's note. there's one more. Okay, uh, go there's, ahead. There's more features there's I want to talk about. There's always more, I these, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's, uh, there's also in the DisplayPilot software, you can um, save your settings and configs to a USB. Oh, and then take so it with you. Can, you can take it with you to tournaments, or if your friend's using one, you can save them all those settings that you've perfectly calibrated and uh, upload them to the cloud or on this USB device and transfer those between the monitors. Awesome. Oh, Ron, I did think of one other thing, and that's the fact that this monitor is extremely adjustable. And that's an important thing for me when I'm gaming because, you know, you never know which direction the light is coming in from the window at. You just need to get it at the right angle to, to flex that, right? Right. Um, so specifically, I know we have, uh, uh, we have pivot, we have swivel, we have tilt, and height, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we have all four. Uh, you could see that it, it swivels forward and back. Uh, it can, it's also easily height adjustable. Uh, there's 14 different levels and it's, there's markers on the back that show you which level you're at so you always know you're at the right height. Excellent. And it also uh, tilts into portrait mode. Okay. So if you want to do two dual monitors with portrait mode, uh, it's also available. Or three or more, depending on who we're talking <laughs> <Yeah>. about, right? <laughs> you're like, as long as they keep getting more monitors, we're good. <laughs> um, so that aside, do you, 
Do you think uh, we can jump into the RL monitor? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so this is the RL2460HT console gaming monitor. And uh, before we get anywhere further, I forgot to mention that the Exo monitor, it has a feature called Black Equalizer. Hmm. And uh, both these monitors have it. Oh. And it's, it's basically a cheat for your games. Uh, <laughs> what it does is, is one of the worst things to get eliminated in a game is, is a camper sitting in a shadow or a dark spot. And you can't even see them. And you have zero chance of knowing he's there. But Black Equalizer, what it does, is it raises the dark levels so they're visible while out while not washing out the whites. Oh, nice! So it's a fine balance of tweaking the shadows and, and the dark spots, so you can see those pesky campers. Ron, that's pretty. That's pretty uh, inventive there. I got. <laughs> yeah. I got to say, that's a nice one. It's uh, nice. What other features do we have in this monitor? Okay, so this one also is zero flicker. Uh, okay. Great for your eyes. You know, reduces eye strain. Uh, it's also got low blue light uh, filtering technology that I mentioned earlier. Okay. Um, so that revolutionized. It's. It's. We're implementing them in all our gaming monitors now. Uh, for the eye safety, eye comfort, that's just something we're really emphasizing on. Cool. Uh, so the gamers that practice a long time, it's, it's better for your eyes. Right, uh, especially yeah. over long term. Now, one of the most important aspects of this monitor is the fact that it has an HDMI out as well as two ins, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, two HDMI ins. You can connect multiple inputs, two different consoles if you want, and HDMI out. Uh, so a lot of people like to stream their games online now mm -hmm. um, or just record for other people to watch. So right. it's got HDMI out, like you mentioned, where uh, before you had to have your console to the capture device to the monitor, mm -hmm. but now this monitor has an HDMI out, so you can connect your capture device um, after, uh, so you can have direct connection from your console to the monitor, so there's that uh, input lag that people talk about uh, from the yeah. capture device that eliminates that. Yeah, basically going to the monitor first will always help you with that, mm -hmm. absolutely. Um, I'm assuming then it doesn't matter which in HDMI, in, HDMI in, you could switch between the two and HDMI out will just switch along with it. Yes, Perfect. Yeah, so it's just plug and play. Okay. Um, also, I've, I've heard that Justin Wong actually worked with you, of, of Evil Geniuses, mm -hmm. actually worked with BenQ to add some kind of a, a color mode or something? Mm -hmm. what, what, what's this about? Yeah, Justin Wong, uh, some of you guys may know him. He's, he's a very popular, uh, very uh, prestigious fighting game player. Mm -hmm. So uh, we like to work with professionals uh, before we release our monitors to get their inputs. Nice. And one of the things he mentioned was in these fighting games, there's these color triggers mm -hmm. where if you get blocked or parried or there's a combo, uh, there's like a, a color trigger that you see gotcha. that you know how to react to the other player. So we worked with him to calibrate a fighting mode that's hmm. a preset calibrated colors that helps enhance those triggers so you can react to them better. Right, right. I, I imagine that's really helpful, especially in a TR panel, not being able to see the color produced in a certain way, but to actually accent them yeah. and, and specify the color gamut on this one to do that, that's awesome. Uh, maybe I should talk a little bit about specs. Yeah, okay. yeah, absolutely. Okay, so then a uh, 24-inch monitor, we're looking at 1920 by 1080 res, right? Mm -hmm. 60 hertz refresh rate, one millisecond response time. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure if I missed anything else in there, too. I know that it's also fully adjustable, just like the other monitor, Right, too. yeah, this one's also height adjustable up and down, of course. Um, it can tilt, and it's got, like you mentioned, several different inputs. Uh, it's also got a headphone input mm -hmm. as well, uh, so you can connect your headphone directly, and it does have two 2-watt speakers. Uh, Built so in. You can you know, you don't need headphones. That's nice too, because depending on the, the ones you have. Also, I noticed with the height adjustability here that there's also markers going from zero to 11 on this as well. Right, yeah, awesome. and then that that's one of those features that the gamers always mention is their eye level. <laughs> you know, the way you're positioned to the monitor mm -hmm. um, is, is how it registers to your vision. So it helps with reaction speed and how you, uh, you know, how you work with the game and how yeah. you see it. So. It's, uh, we're proud of that feature, and it's, it's something that uh, we're going to continue to add. Fantastic. Uh, well, one more question for you, Ron. Is there anything else you wanted to add or add to this particular monitor? Well, it's just, uh, I mean, it's the ones that we use in a lot of our sponsored gaming tournaments. So oh, it's the ones you'll right. see uh, uh, at, at major gaming tournaments worldwide. Uh, it's the ones on the final stage. These are the ones that pros use, and the ones our sponsored players use especially the one ones that stream because it has the HDMI out. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're, that's a feature if you're, if you're on Twitch, you know, if you do online streaming or capture YouTube videos, this is the one you want. Absolutely. Well, Ron, thank you so much for taking the time to come in and talk to us about uh, these two monitors. We really appreciate it. Yeah. And uh, thank you guys also for watching this video. Don't forget, if you liked it, to click the like button. And if you haven't already done so, click subscribe to any of our various YouTube channels. And until the next one, we'll see you guys very soon.